Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, we look at creating an ASP.NET web application using Visual Studio 2023. I will guide you through the steps to set up a new ASP.NET web application and explore some key features and run our first web app. But before we do so, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't and make sure you like the video as well. This will help the channel. So let's get straight into it then. Setting up Visual Studio 2022. First, make sure you have Visual Studio 2022 installed. If you haven't done so, you can download it from the official Visual Studio website during the, during the installation. Select ASP.NET and Web Development Workload to, set, to get all the necessary tools and templates. Okay? But if you've already installed the web, um, Visual Studio, just open the Visual Studio installer and click on Modify. So this will actually open the, the workloads side here. Yeah? So you got to make sure that you've got this box checked, ASP.NET and web development. So this will actually help you build web applications using ASP.NET Core, ASP.NET, HTML, JavaScript, and whatnot, yeah? So once you check on this box, make sure you download and install it. So if you do so, we can, we can close our Visual Studio installer and come back to the um, Visual Studio 2022. So creating our new project. So let's get started by opening our Visual Studio 2022. As you can see, I've already opened it, yeah? So let's go ahead and click on the create a new project. So here on the old um, on the language side, let's select C sharp. So obviously, if you actually downloaded, if you've downloaded and installed the workload, so you should get this ASP.NET Core web apps using the Razor pages. So this is a project template for creating an ASP.NET Core application with example ASP.NET Core Razor pages content. Yeah, so let's select this here yeah? and then click on the next. So here we can configure our project details here, yeah? like uh, a given name for our project, uh, the location, and obviously we can give our solution name as well. Yeah, but we're not going to look too much into that. So let's go ahead and click on the next. So here um, we can do some additional configurations by selecting what frameworks that is applicable to what we're trying to do. And here we can select the authentication types. Yeah, we're going to leave it as none, but obviously you can, you can drop down and, and choose what is applicable to you, like um, individual accounts, Microsoft identity platform and whatnot, yeah? If you got that bit sorted out, yeah? Um, that you can go ahead and configure for HTTPS. But we're not going to look too much for this video, but obviously you can, you can check this box. So this actually um, configures the HTTPS, yeah? And there are other, other um, um, configurations that you can set, yeah? But we're not gonna look too much into that. So let's go ahead and click on the create. So as you can see, yeah, we've got the project being created. So I'm gonna pause it. So now, that we've got our project created. Let's go ahead and explore the project structure. So once the project is created, you see this solution here. Yeah? This is the solution part here. Yeah? And this contains all your project files. And the, the, the pages folder, which is this. Yeah, the pages folder contains the razor pages, which are similar to MVC views, but combines the model and controller logics. Yeah. And then we've got the WW root folder. So the WW root folder holds static files like H, let's open it, like um, CSS, JavaScript, and images, yeah? So as you can see, yeah, we've got no image folder here, but we've got the save icon, yeah? And then um, the program.cs and startup.cs. So as you can see here now, we don't have a startup.cs, but in most cases, we should have a startup.cs. 
Yeah, so basically the program, the CS and any startup, the CS files that we find, these are this configures the app services and middleware. And the program the CS is the entry point while startup set up the request pipelines. Yeah, so bear that in mind. So let's look at running the application. But before we do so, let's let's dig in more into the what we've got inside our folder. So let's go ahead and expand our pages folder. So as you can see here, we've got a bunch of um, CSHTML files here. So the index, index.cshtml obviously is the starting page for our web app here. So the CSHTML is a combination of both C sharp code and HTML code. Yeah, so basically you can, you can, you can write C sharp and and HTML together, yeah. And then, as you can see, so this we've got this simple stuff here. So once we run it, we see. So obviously, it's gonna show up welcome, and then this building web apps with AFU.net call, yeah. So here, what we do is we look at running it for the first time, yeah. So basically, if we look here on this part, yeah. If we actually expand it, yeah, you can run it HTTP or HTTPS, and obviously you can use some web browsers. So as you can see here, we've got um, Google Chrome as our default web browser. Yeah, but obviously you can you can change it to whatever web browser that is suitable for you. Okay, so let's go ahead and click on the on this bit here. So this will actually build and run our application so in a, in a debug mode obviously so i'm just going to pause the video while the, while the application runs so as you can see here now we've got the application up and running so we've got this um we've got this console up in here so basically this is giving us the information on what is going on basically obviously the win, uh, web forms application seven of this is the project that i created that is executable so this execute and create this here so as you can see we've got um the application listening on this um on this link so we've got both https and then http yeah and then this is the application running on the browser so as you can see is a very simple application. So right now that it's running, you can go to Visual Studio, yeah, and you can make changes while the application is still debugging, and it will be taking effects straight up. So let's put this bit here. Let's put something here. So welcome to ASP.NET app. So let's go ahead and save it, and come inside here. So let's refresh it. So it's not it's not refreshing. So I'm just gonna um, save it again. And here we've got hot reload. So let's click on the hot reload and come back here. Refresh it. So it's still not showing. So for some reason, the hot reload is not working. But obviously, you can you can you, you can always stop it and save the app and then rerun it again. Okay. But since this video is to get you started, so there's no point going too much further since you know all the project structure. So from now, you'll be able to. You'll be able to go ahead and explore it further. So as you can see here now, we've got it working. So the changes is reflected here on inside web browser. So I'll leave you here. So have a lovely morning, evening, after wherever you are. Peace.